All right, to show you another little trick that we're going to actually talk about is uh, we talked about making mixing times, right? So we talked about uh, letting the operator know or letting the person that's operating the system uh, be aware of how much time is left in the system to actually mix, right? So um, this would be a good chance to do this. So what we do is we'll, we'll make our own little, what I like to personally do is I'll, instead of a pop-up um, or instead of a, a something that they have to press, then I like to have a custom pop-up that actually is animated that actually stays on the screen. So let me go ahead and talk about this. So first we're going to draw a panel. We're just going to draw a panel. We're going to build this out, right? And we're going to do a white color. Let's see, back color. Uh, we'll, we'll do like an off and then back color will be like a white. So it kind of be like that. Um, and let's actually not do the border color. Let's do the uh, raised inset, raised inset, and let's see how that looks. So it looks okay, but let's add a little bit more to this, just like this. Okay, so you can have, you know, a, a nice subtle look to it. And even that, you can have the back color as white. So, uh, you know, that kind of gives you a nice look. So this is basically, we're coming in and getting a drawing, we're making a panel, right? And then we're going to come in and put some text in it, right? So first we want to have, we want to get the panel size properly. So we want to have this on here. So it's going to come in here. And what it's going to do is going to be animated. So what we can do is have it overlay this. If we want to, actually, that's not a bad idea. But actually, let's just come in here and have this just under here. So we'll have this just like this. And even with that said, you can change the way this looks. Is if you don't like the inset, you can do a raised, something like that. I don't particularly like the raised, to be honest with you. The inset, I don't really, I'm not real keen on that. Let's just do a three on the raised inset, just like that. I think raised inset looks the best. And then what we're going to do is add some text in here. So we're going to come in and add some text. And we're going to call this... Uh, mixing our uh, remaining remaining time to mix time to mix okay so then we'll have that put that in there and that's just going to give us the indicator so we'll basically come in here and change this have that just like that change the size of it just like we just talked about you can bold it if you want to um, I think it looks a little bit better um, we do have uh, let's just look at this uh, and that's fine let's just let's keep this let's just like this and what we'll do now is a numeric display so in a numeric display we're, we're gonna populate this with a tag now we don't have the tag yet of course but you would actually create your expression right here and what I do want to highlight is we're going to change the field so no more than four uh, in this case and you can show digits if, if you want to I choose to not show uh, digits because again we're going to be talking about how long this is going to be actually mixing for right so how long is it left to mix right so um, in this case we'll just show decimals you can show hexadecimal octal binary floats uh, different things like that. We're just going to show decimal because it's going to be very simple. This will all make a lot more sense when we actually have the tag we're going to put in there because we're going to have a time limit of how long we're going to actually mix for. Now with that said, you can change the center like justification, center justification, right justification. I like to have center in this case. We'll have this just like this, right? So we'll come back in here, highlight off of that and move this right here. So that's the remaining time to actually mix. Now, again, uh, this is going to be a pop-up. So what we can do is we'll just call this remaining time and then have that just like that. Make it look a little bit better. I like to try to get it, you know, where it's it's just as, as like I said, aesthetics is everything, right? The way things look is, is just about everything. And we can shorten this down a little bit because um, the pop-up doesn't need to be as big as you know what we you know we just need to have it as as 
as big as we need it to actually indicate what we're trying to do. So right click and go to properties and then you can change the over here on the on the actual it's not in here you can actually change the height right here if you want to and change uh, multiple things like adding a tool tip or whatever the case may be uh, we're gonna come in and, and just show let's see we're gonna ha have this highlighted so if I were to come over here and notice this property box over here this property box is something that's very handy you can change the font if you want to you can change the um, font right here and change it and make this actually a bold color right so I kinda like to have everything bold uh, so this is this is where you get the options to change your different font types uh, your font style and then your size of that nature Now we're gonna keep this as bold just it makes it kinda blends in and stay you know at the same time as is making sure we we have the good accent so let's actually open up this property for the panel again uh, change this back down to two let's see that looks pretty good I like that so this is good now what we want to do here is we want to control so we want to press control to group everything together then tap on everything and then we're going to come over here and arrange as a group so now we can move this as a group anywhere we want to right so we've built a, a little small little pop-up now what we're going to do here is we're going to add some animation in this system to say visible right now we can come in here and if you if you've never done animation before uh, you can actually come in here and do let's just say for instance uh, a tag that will be from the system uh, we will come in here from the system tag and do like seconds or um, that's like a natural blink or something like that let's just do like a blink fast or blink slow let's just say blink slow so this would be just showing you the way animation works right so now that we've grouped everything together right we have an animation and we're going to actually test that now this is gonna a lot of the stuff is not gonna work but this is gonna show the pop-up animated so all we're doing here is I'm, I'm just kinda highlighting the fact of how this is how animation works so we're gonna actually call this and you see I did the play over here so to test it I did the play uh, push play and then you can push stop right here so this will go back into edit now we're gonna remove that animation I just wanted to show it to you real quick on how to do that we're gonna remove that animation right now <clears throat> and to do that here's the key thing too you cannot just delete an animation what you need to do is actually or you can't just like remove the tag and expect it to accept it right you have to come in here and hit delete and that will delete the actual animation then you can close it now for our sake what we're doing is we're just gonna leave that there for the mixing time and then we're gonna come back later and add our animation to this so once we build our tag and our, our we build our logic inside of our control logic system our, our our studio 5000 program what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and then add the animation tag to that but I just wanted to show you real quick of how animation works and how to test that so you can quickly and easily understand that so now we have mixed time um, and the mixing time again will be something that, that just naturally pops up when the system is mixing so it will indicate to the end user or the operator in that effect show them how long it is to actually have that they have to mix left in that stage right so if you're mixing in several different stages or if you're mixing in whatever so this gives the operator the knowledge the common knowledge directly off the screen to say oh okay well I have five more minutes of mixing or I have four minutes or three minutes or three minutes and five you know 50 seconds whatever the case may be you know you can actually just pop that up based upon animation say the system is in mix we want to indicate to the, the operator, hey, this is how long we have to mix. I like to do this um, just to give the operator a simple, easy effect, and also to have a little state diagram down here to show that, you know, hey, um, you know, what state are they in? So if they're they're you know if they're mixing, it will indicate that they're mixing. If they are not mixing, you know, then it will indicate what their what process or state they are currently in. So um, real quick, I just wanted to make a, a video showing how to make a pop-up or a simple animation that we will be using for the remaining time for mixing. 
So uh, with all that said, hopefully you enjoyed that video and you understand where we're going and the kind of see how things are, are formulating together. We will be again coming back and a lot of this will, will relate back to when we build our actual program in Studio 5000. So feel free to go back and watch these videos later if you need to because again, this is part of something you have and you can watch this as many times as you want to. So making these animations, making things are understanding where the tie-in, this will all come together when we make our program, but we want to do step by step and come in and do one thing at a time so we're not doing multiple things creating confusion. So uh, with all that said, we'll see you guys on the next one.